In no surprising fashion, Cody Rhodes won the men's Royal Rumble match for a second year in a row, becoming the first man to do so since Stone Cold Steve Austin in 1998. Thus, most people probably believe this means that Cody Rhodes will go on to WrestleMania 40 and finish his story by defeating Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. However, most would also agree that the person who does defeat Roman Reigns should be a future WWE Hall of Famer. Cody Rhodes is a two-time Royal Rumble winner and a two-time Intercontinental Champion, and an eight-time Tag Team Champion. However, that does not sound like the pedigree of someone to defeat a person who has one of the longest WWE title reigns in history. Everyone keeps talking about Cody Rhodes finishing his story. But this isn't about Cody Rhodes' story, this is about Roman Reigns' story. At now more than 1,200 days, Roman Reigns is just over 200 days from surpassing Hulk Hogan for the third longest reign in WWE history. That means if he is still champion by SummerSlam he would move into that position. Thus, the person that defeats Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship has to be a future Hall of Famer that is going to carry the WWE into the future. Cody Rhodes, who is 38, has said previously that he plans to retire when he turns 40. Rhodes turns 40 years old next June. Therefore, in order for Rhodes to defeat Roman Reigns, the WWE would have to either be committed to him having a relatively short title reign, or them sticking with Rhodes as champion for the next two years, into WrestleMania 42 in 2026. Otherwise, Reigns losing to Rhodes would be completely meaningless. Reigns just successfully remained Universal Champion by defeating AJ Styles, LA Knight, and Randy Orton in a fatal four-way match at the Royal Rumble, with the help of the Bloodline. The Bloodline also helped Reigns defeat Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania 39 last year. What is going to be different this time? Are they going to fight in a steel cage or hell in a cell match to keep the Bloodline from interfering? If not, then Reigns will once again remain champion. There has also still been talks of The Rock wrestling Reigns at WrestleMania 40 this year. Would that mean that Reigns will be wrestling back-to-back -back nights or The Rock will be included in the Cody Rhodes match? Hey, maybe Cody Rhodes will become Universal Champion at WrestleMania. However, it seems like a tough sell, considering he was never AEW or TNA Champion, with the only real-world title he held being the Ring of Honor Championship, which he lost to Dalton Castle in 2017.